Okay, so we're not gonna say your name, but you you live in Berlin, and you're not sending your children to school. And what what's the situation here? Oh well, the situation is that um, when you when you ask somebody what you can do, nobody really knows. And um, I want to tell you, there's more to unschooling than hiding or leaving. Um, the first thing you need to do is build trust to people who are already doing it. And believe me, they are only two steps ahead of you. So get in touch locally and, and you will find a way to, to live, live your life in liberty. So yesterday we met some people at the cinema who are homeschooling, but they're not living in Germany, right? Yes. Um, many people are originally from Germany and live elsewhere and the beauty of living elsewhere is you can be back at your, your so to speak, home um, whenever you want being a tourist. So, so don't um, have in mind a picture of leaving forever, but um, leaving to, to find breath and, and to find your way maybe your way back um, yeah so 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 leaving is is always um, the, the emergency step um, and there are many families who can get in touch for for help in, in what to to think about when you when you want to leave but I tell you don't be open with it so if you have family members um, don't invite them too early um. Oh wow, because family members might be the ones who denounce you, such as the neighbors, right? Exactly, and exactly, and, and by accident. You, you, you never know how, how confused somebody would be to call some authority for help um, and, and to realize only weeks later that it had, had not been help, but problems. So some people are hiding here in Berlin or in Germany because their children don't want to go to school or having a hard time and how does that work? Well, um, to be frank, I don't know any family who is hiding because then I wouldn't have known them. Um, right. the, the hiding is, is just um, kind of to be, to be um, discreet, to be... Um, yeah, it's, it's not hiding actually. Some people have told me that they fear their neighbors more than they fear any authority. Yeah, yeah, and, and when, you, when you actually do it, you already know your neighbors and you, you choose your neighbors. Um, if you live in a, in a home for 30 years and, and don't think about leaving this home, then you might be in, have trouble with your neighbors. But you can, you can go just around the corner and you have new neighbors. And those new neighbors will have no suspicion. And um, so, so this, is, this is again something you can deal with. You, you, they'll have no suspicion, but if they see your children in the streets in the morning, then what? Yeah, and this is, this is where I, I, I beg you, get in touch locally with with communities, there is um, once a year the Schulfrei Festival, the, the um, school-free festival. Um, you, you find lots of things in the internet. There's the um, Bundesverband Natürlich Lernen, B V N L B V N L, and there are other platforms like um, eu leeu like Eule, it's europeanlearning.eu where, where communities um, show themselves without putting their names up and you will find them and, and build trust and you will find a way um, how, how, to do it, how to do it your way. Because when people end up leaving the country, it's because the authorities ask them to send their child back to school and the child doesn't want to go back and is begging not to go. And then the next step is the authorities take the child away from the family. Right? Well, it's seldom. That's, that's, that's a myth. They don't do it that quickly. 
um, you will have more problems when when you experience school that um, for example you are um, pressed and, and coerced to, to give your child medication and this alone is, is often enough a reason to leave to leave either the country or only to leave the the, 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 the hometown or, or um, go into another neighborhood so um, I understand the, 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 the frightened fact that the police can take your child but this doesn't uh, appear out of thin air you you can deal with it and there are um, you have time to escape before yeah it well well there there are lots of strategies um, some some families leave the country by plane um, for example to India there has been one family leaving Germany for India because the father of the children uh, is, was originally from from India and, and they they went on the plane and the police stopped the plane and grabbed their children and this is when I say um, be uh, be vigilant um, on planes you have lists and when when you are at the, at the, at the pick of, of some authority then then you need to be careful but you always have have ways um, find trust so in, in people the, and the and police that's when they stopped the plane to India it was because of homeschooling? Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay, and today you introduced me to a family who moved to Saudi Arabia, to Riyadh, because there they can homeschool, because they're not Saudi Arabians. Um, and then somebody, a family from, who moved from Germany to Belgium. Yeah. You told me about this friend of yours who moved to Australia. But what do people do if they don't have, you know, the means to move? Well, that's a huge question, and um, from my own experience, the the um, biggest thing in finances is rent. So, so many families um, first choose to to give up their rent and to find some mobile home or maybe live for on, on a shorter contracts to um, to to be. Um, independent from 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 one big thing and this is rent so you you find lots of solutions when when you make yourself more and more independent um, even with your your portemonnaie so you leave your job you find another job you're maybe you, you live with very little yeah. I mean it's I a whole wow revolution in a family yeah yeah indeed and and you have a good position if if your family is intact and this is what we experience what what school does it, it takes it, it, it takes uh, apart families and if your family is intact that you are two then then you can um, manage one is working and the other one is, 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 is um, yeah dealing with the children and you can share your time with families as well so mm -hmm. so there are lots of um, opportunities next to leaving or hiding. So can you show me the bag and explain that website? Yes, sure. You want me to pick it up? Yes, you can put it in front of your face. Here you go. Thank you. So what's that? That's a network. Yuri Wolf, uh, Yuri, Yuri Wolf, yes, um, programmed it where local communities can share um, the opportunity to get in contact with people who are unschooling, who are homeschooling, and yeah, you can you can um, find real people. So and, in and Germany trust. or all of Europe? Or? Well, it's a multi-language platform. Um, Yuri is from Germany, so it is initiated in, in German, but um, you you can use it um, all over. Okay, and so Yuri was with us in Berlin at Movimento Cinema yesterday. Exactly. And we talked about his exactly. experience. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.